Hi everybody, this is Cindy Nirenberg, back on my journey to lose 65 pounds this year. Um, it's Monday again, and that this week went by really fast, so I'm just gonna throw my results out there. My results are, drum roll please, I lost 3.0 pounds this week. And I'm really proud of that number, I don't want you to think that I'm not. However, if you subscribe, to the calories in, calories out approach to weight loss. Um, I want you to realize that in order to lose 3.0 pounds, I would have had to have not eaten 10,500 calories this week. And that, that didn't happen. Or I would have had to have exercised like a crazy mad woman to lose you know, or to burn off 10,500 calories. And <laughs> that didn't happen either. What I like to think happened this week is that my body was just primed for weight loss. It was ready to let the weight go. So that's why it's so important that we don't put all of our hopes, we don't pin all of our hopes on the scale because it's just not an accurate reflection of what's going on in our bodies. You know, losing 3.0 pounds this week is not a phenomenon that I could repeat or else I would repeat it week after week after week, right? I'd be crazy not to, um, but I can't repeat that. But what I can do is I can keep my brain in check as I go through this process. I can hold on to my belief that I am going to lose 65 pounds this year and then believe that my body is gonna follow along with that. So I want you to consider water. Like where's she going with this? Consider water in a pan on the stove. And water begins to boil when you heat it up to um, 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, I did have to look that up. But water doesn't boil until it reaches that temperature. And once it reaches that temperature, then all of a sudden the activity happens, the bubbling and the boiling. What if our bodies are the same way? What if our bodies aren't ready to let go of fat or water or inflammation until they reach a certain boiling point? And what if we miss that boiling point? What if we get this close to it and then we say, "Ugh, you know what, it's been a hard week. I'm, I'm gonna drink a bottle of wine. Or hey, like all of my friends are going out for tacos and margaritas, I will too. What if we miss that boiling point because of one decision that we make. So my tip for you this week is I want you to always consider how close am I to that boiling point? And then what do I want to do about it? Because you guys, you always have the choice. Throughout my weight loss pr process, I am choosing peace and tranquility as I go through this because it just, it feels so much better. Patience feels so much better than being panicked and disappointed. So I'm gonna be calm and I'm gonna make the right choices no matter what's happening. So this Thanksgiving, how close are you to the boiling point? And what do you wanna do about it? That's my tip for this week. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to those of you who've reached out to me. Uh, I've had such great conversations with you. Those of you who are still on the fence or afraid to reach out, please just reach out. It's I'm at cindyn at cox.net or you can reach me also on Facebook at Cindy King Nirenberg. And I would be happy to consider or to continue this conversation with any of you. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'll see you again on Monday with good news.